Hello Air Signs, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have everyone here. And I'm here right now looking into um, the next 24, 48 hours, August the 24th and the 25th is 2023. Of course, everything you need to know about me is all right down below and it is in the description box. Thank you for your love and your support. Your donations and all, thank you guys so much. All right. On my channel, I go and find a secretive energy that is hidden and I bring it to light. So let's see what we have going down right here. This is Air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Air Signs. I am open up for personal readings, and you can find it all down below in the description box. Eight of Swords. Somebody feels powerless right here about something right here. They could feel confused. I feel like they're realizing they're powerless. There's something right here. Okay? They could be powerless and making you confused. Or they're powerless because they're confused. Something like that. Okay? What's the message here? <laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, yeah. Okay, somebody's stuck right here. Okay, something even could be about jail. With the, this one right here is a jail card. Eight of Swords could be jail. And then we got this person stuck right here. So I'm not sure if somebody here realizes something here about jail. Or be the thing. So I'm in prison or something like that. Okay, what's the message right here, please? Air signs. Okay, you have Five of Cups right here. And um, the Emperor. Could be a father or Aries right here. I just heard somebody say like, damn, damn, something. Okay, what's the message? Air signs right here, pray, sleep with Gemini. Okay, Ace of Swords right there. Okay. okay. Knight of Swords reverse. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay. The, um... Knight of Wands right here. It's right there. So I'm here like cancel plans or something like that. All right. Because I feel like somebody feels, I don't know. Okay. I just feel like maybe somebody here um, feels locked up or stuck or something like that. Because I do have this um, Eight of Swords right there. Right. And, and then the Emperor. So sometimes the Emperor could even be a police. These two cards could be a legal situation, maybe, or something like that. This could be a police. This could be somebody's locked up in some type of way. Okay, that's my way it could be. I feel like somebody's okay. This is another way it could be. Maybe you have your maybe you you're in one type of um energy field and somebody else is in a whole other type of energy field, you know, kind of feel. Um, I feel like maybe you and somebody else is on two different frequencies, could be the case. Now, it also could be the fact right here, like somebody is um they, they're arrested or something, maybe somebody feels arrested. What's going on? Okay, the emperor right here, eight of swords. We're getting like the word habitat or something like that, right? So I feel like somebody has to be somewhere to survive or something like that. The twin of flame right here and this emperor could be a twin of flame. I feel like somebody's on two different frequencies right here. I get the sense right here. Okay, somebody has to be in some type of condition, I feel, right here in order to survive in some type of way. Okay, and I just I get a sense like you could be on a whole different frequency that they on or something. They could be powerless or something like that. Okay, right here. They're powerless at a twin flame journey right here. If they haven't had an awakening or something like that. It could be it. It's like you had ascension. Or they're confused because you had ascension. They could be confused right here. Something has ended. Could be the case. Could be a Scorpio right here. Like something ended from people right here. I feel like somebody doesn't want to end, but it's just like they have to be realistic. Something has ended here. I feel like you're on a different frequency or wavelength than what somebody else is on in some way. I feel like somebody feels powerless at the fact that something here is going in because it's just not the same frequency I feel for some people here. This could definitely be a twin flame journey. I just feel like it right here, you know. It's, not, it's like it's not the same frequency. I can't, I feel like I'm confused right here or some way, right? Or I'm powerless or something right here in some way because it just... 
Apollos is something here not ending. Could be the case because it's just not the same or something like that. I get a sense right here. You know, um, it's just not. It's just not the same. I feel like somebody's so confused. I feel you know. Eight of Swords right here in the judgment. So I feel like with the Ace of Swords in the judgment, is somebody is definitely realizing that right here. Okay. This even could be about something like habitat. Something here could be about some type of environmental condition in some type of way. So maybe somebody here needs something to survive in some way. That either they're not getting in this situation for some people here. Okay. Now it could be many different things. It could be it could be food. It could be um you know a, a mate to reproduce or anything like that. But it's like they just don't. They're missing something here in some way. Okay. Now, somebody could be a regret over here, Five of Cups, because they was lusting, because maybe that sent you into a serious ascension. Could be the case right here. Maybe that sent you to ascension, and now it's confusing, or they can't, they can't reach you, or something like that. I feel like, you know? Okay. What's the Ace of Swords right here in the Judgment? Yeah, they're heartbroken right here. Okay, that you're consciously aware about all different types of things, I feel. You're definitely consciously aware about something right here. They even could be heartbroken right here that you know about a magic spell. Could be the case. Or you know about a third party. Something like that, right? So, you know, it's like, you know, they power, they're powerless, I feel, right here. Yeah. It's like, you know what they're planning to do or you know what they say. Something like that. Eight of Wands right here. I feel like you go through communication, thoroughly look through what somebody say for some people here. Or you're the king and the queen of swords. You're intelligent. You know? Something like that could be the case here. You're very intelligent right here. You know? Three of Pentacles right here. Something to somebody. Something here somebody was planning to do. I feel like somebody knows that you're consciously aware about it. You can be consciously aware about some magic spell. You can be consciously aware about a third party as well. You know? And that's just like, dang. I feel like they didn't, you know, I feel like they can't survive in those conditions for some people here. Okay. Because they just, you know, they even could be confused right here. Something ended already with you. They really didn't realize that for some people here. Yeah. I just feel like you was consciously aware about something and now they're like, dang, there was needless drama because you was going to know about it for some people right here. And I feel like it could be a third party or now you had awakening. I feel like that really affects them for some people right here. Three, three, three. That's like awakening right here. Okay. You're consciously aware about something right here. This is pre. You're consciously aware about it. You're consciously aware of what they're saying. Okay. They know that you're consciously aware or that you was consciously aware before or something like that. Okay. So somebody's like, dang, I wish I didn't never say that or do that. Or I wish I wasn't having a competition with you or something like that. This could be a Leo. Gemini or Virgo, maybe, right here. Right? Something here that was doing, I feel like it was revealed or something like that. Yeah, well, they could have been trying to be single when they was in a relationship. That wasn't going to work here for some people here. It wasn't going to work, I feel. Okay? Okay, so we had a Knight of Swords right here and the Hanging Man. All right, so the Hanging Man right here, all right? I feel like with the Hanging Man energy, is somebody here that could be getting some type of download or understanding. I feel like Knight of Swords reverse that somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody knows they're not telling the truth. Something about somebody's communication right here, they feel like it's needless drama right here with you because either you're consciously aware about something right here some type of way. Okay? They know that you're consciously aware. It even could be the fact that you're looking at them right there and just... Not saying it, but some type of way they know. Even right here, it could be like online, or maybe it's something here about um passwords, or what is this one? Uh, a bank account, anything like that. Maybe something about that is revealed that you know about something here. It's a way that you're not saying could be it so for some people, right? Others right here, maybe you are going to say it. But anyway, not a source of verse right here in the hanging man, right? What's the message right here? Yeah, Queen of Swords right here. You know, somebody knows they, you know, you know, you know they're not telling the truth, I feel. Okay? The Queen of Swords right here, Knight of Swords reverse. They're not telling the truth. Okay? That's very clear to somebody right here. That somebody's not telling the truth and somebody knows they're not telling the truth. Okay? Somebody knows they're lying about something right here. Okay? They have some more going on or they're hiding something. Somebody definitely do know that. It could be a Capricorn. But somebody knows that right here, I feel. Right, or some hidden motive or something like that is going on. It's, some, it's wishful thinking right here. You believe in yourself. You know that. Some people here. Okay, it could be about a house right here. It could be about a lover. Something like that right here. 
Somebody's not telling the truth about something like that. Okay. Somebody believing in something, not going to give up on the fact that they're not telling the truth right here about a house or about a love situation or a Capricorn or something like that. Yeah. Somebody knows that in this new cycle right here, you're curious. And see, curiosity is going to take you to the truth about something. It's like once you see the truth, you can't turn around and say, oh, no, I don't see it. You already see the truth about something because it can't see it. Maybe you already see the truth about a house or how they were tempted to do something in some way, right? Okay, they could have been lusting or anything they could have been doing. Okay, I just feel like you know it right here. Then regret right here. Okay, because either they did something right here impulsively in some way, or they was lusting and they regret right here. The fact they was lusting or they had regret right here, that they did something right here impulsively in some way. Okay, they're focused on the loss right here, but I feel like they're probably right here because, you know, it's just they can't make you not see something you already see in some way. I mean, in a sense, could be, definitely could be about a house for some people right here. Okay, or relationship right here. Okay. I just feel like as we move forward right here, you're self-assured. You know, you're confident right here. Put it like that. This even could be somebody's doing something impulsively right here because they know they, they have figured out that you know something. So right now in this present energy, they could be doing something here that's really impulsively. Maybe it had to do with traveling or a house or something like that. But like they're doing it impulsively now because they have regret and they know that you know about something for some people here. Could definitely be a Leo or a Virgo right here. They know that something here is very weak right here to heal something right here with you in some way. They know that right now. Or they would have a struggle healing this with you in some way, okay? Could definitely be a Aquarius right here, or Virgo, or Leo, or Cancer. Yeah. Something is karma in a family or relationship or something like that. It's karma in this family or relationship. Or well, it's a cause and effect for something they're doing over here in some way, okay? It's a cause and effect right now. Some people here that you know something could be hopeless right here surrounding the wife in some type of way, okay? Or it's hopeless right here having two lovers, or maybe the wife have two lovers, something like that, okay? But it's hopefully something like that. I'm getting right here, you know, right here. But some of you, it's too hard to apologize to you if they're lying about something, you know? It's just how they gonna apologize for something they know that they're lying about, or something like that. I get the sense for some people here because this card says lies right here, this one right here. It says lies right there. Okay, so if they're lying about something right here, how they gonna apologize for something? You already know they're lying about it. So they could be the case, okay? What's the message right here, please? It's air signs of phrase leave with Gemini 2021. Could be significant. Okay, it could be 2021, but when I actually did this card, I was thinking the year 2021, okay? Sign of Scorpio is right here. What's the message right here, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is air signs right here. It's a praise Libra and Gemini. All right. Yeah, you sold it. It's sold. Okay, for some of you, something is about a house, maybe a witchy cabinet right here. Okay. Yeah, something here is definitely going to change right now. It's a number of great changes right here concerning the Scorpio. It says get ready, but something here definitely could be about a Scorpio. And Scorpio is a death card, and the death card is right here where I put it at. So maybe something here is changing with a Scorpio in some way. Is it right here, please? ATM right there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. See? Thief is right here. Right? Something's going to change about a thief right here. It's a Scorpio. And then we have ATM right here. Okay? So they was definitely looking at money. I feel like you sold it right here. Okay? Could be a spell. Okay? Or it could be the fact right here, somebody that was doing spells, you sold it, I feel, for some people right here. Okay? I feel like somebody here was trying to steal somebody's money right here. 888, it says incoming power and wealth right here. Abundance and increasing your money. So I feel like for some of you right here, right, somebody was trying to steal your money from an ATM. Could be the case for somebody. I feel like it was a thief, for real. It was a thief. They were trying to steal somebody's money, I feel. Okay? I feel like, yeah. So right here from 2021. And I feel like maybe they want to get back together with you or something, but I just feel like you already know they're lying about something right here, or they're a thief or something like that, okay? Jeans card right here. This could have been out somebody's jeans, maybe. Could have been some people here. Definitely could have been a Libra or a Scorpio. I'm getting a Libra. So they even could have been on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio, maybe. Okay. So 
Okay, we're spirit holy angels right here. Okay, we have a brother. Maybe it was somebody's brother. Could be the case. Or maybe the brother was the one that was doing a spell over here. Could be the case right here. Ten years. I don't know, but I feel like they could even be the same sex. Because I got a brother and I got a Scorpio and a Libra. I'm not sure if that's same sex or what it is it. But it could be. Okay, go to the ticket of abundance. You win right here. Okay. Okay, down by the river, the ocean, or the beach right here. Something here is definitely going to change right here. I feel like somebody got 10 years of karma or something like that. With a 10 years right here. If it could be somebody sold you um, a ticket. I don't know if they did. Maybe right there, right here. You sold it, it sold, and then it says a golden ticket of bondage. You went to somebody sell you a ticket, a ticket right here. That's the one or something that was on a spell, or I don't know. Could be the case, okay? What's the message right here? Okay. Yeah, then we have right here a new car. All right. And then I have right here, they do love you. Okay. But something about it is karma is going to be at its finest right now concerning the Aries, okay? I feel like something here is a massive tower and destruction. Something here is going to be built now concerning the Aries. I feel like that's a relief to you for some people right here. I got Virgo right here, right? But this card right here says sigh of relief right here. So for some of you, it's a relief to you right here in some way, okay? Either to know something or, okay, what is the relief? Sigh of relief right here, all right? Look at that dangle good cook, okay? Wow. All right. So I feel like some of you could be a really good cook right here. You could be traveling soon. All right. This is what I have for you. I'm going to end it right there. Thank you so much for taking a look now. I say you are peace, blessings, love, and light. And I'm going to stay to you. This is air.